All right, morning and welcome. Can you believe it, Elrock? We are at the Losers Finals. Started three months ago, now we're here. It's been a long, strange trip, but we have settled into our top three. The loser today walks away with a bronze medal, which is certainly impressive from the field of qualifiers. Yeah, and, and we got today with us Connor75, the one seed bested by his rival Riley in the winner's files a couple days ago. Uh, meanwhile, we have Camerson, a.k.a. the... Um, what do we call it? Anime protagonist? He slayed a bunch of enemies, including you, to get to the top three. You, you too, bud. <laughs> Me too, as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you got Yep. And can just think how different this would be. Like, think how different this brag would be if Camerson didn't get, like, the one and eighth on that shop potion. Like, you would have won. This would have been an entirely different bracket. Like, that's um, how crazy Randomizer is. I hate math, man. I hate math. <laughs> It's so bad. <laughs> well, today, this should oh. be a good start here. We got Diddy and Tiny Star. I love the Diddy and Tiny Star. I know it's not DK because DK is kind of fun too with rolling and everything, but like Diddy, Tiny, these are just good Kongs to have, especially with Featherball. Yeah, I'll take any Kong if you start with a gun. If you start with our gun, that's like super good. That said, there is a, a little bit of history going back on, on these guys. Um, so Sarah, Sarah did some quick research. Uh, all time head to head, Connor and Camerson. Connor is a staggering 18 and 0. I know Camerson was definitely concerned about this matchup happening. Um, that might explain why. That is frightening. But all it takes, all it takes in the tournament is one seed, and on any given seed, it can flip. It can flip that, on a dime. Just some random decision you make. That 18 and 0 does not matter here. This is what matters. This particular match, when you're in the finals, lose and you're going home with the bronze trophy. Any given seed, baby. Any All given right. seed. We're like a minute and a half out from starting. Uh, not too minute. much to say about this start, really. Your feather gets you like the feather cage and, uh, and BFI. You like to see a, you love seeing a slam, or at least you just don't have to worry about finding a slam. Yeah, definitely. Um, you're gonna see chunk if you see chunky phase. There's a sigh of relief that you only need to deal with uh, primate punch casino instead of both primate punch and slam casino. You know. Oh, and then hunky chunky hides itself. Um, in the meantime, before we begin, be sure to uh, follow us on Twitch, DK64 Speedruns, and subscribe to us if you're watching on YouTube. Um, we, this is, yeah, obviously this term is old some, but this is far from the end of DK64 Randomizer. There's gonna be a lot of us from here on out, so follow us. We have a lot of content coming your way. There's a lot of content creators. Make sure you're just watching Donkey Kong 64 in general. The, uh, the, the chan- the, the game- what, what, what? Category, category, that's the word. It is popping. There are tons of people playing rando day in, day out. Races happening in the Discord all the time. If you're looking to donk at any given moment, somebody else might be looking to donk at any given moment. Somebody else is donking at any given moment. It's a good time to be a viewer, a player, uh, etc. Yep, join uh, discorddk 6 randomizercom if you want to, if you're interested in getting into the series. I'm interested in getting into this match, and we got like 15 seconds to go. 10, maybe. Maybe right, they're starting right about. Hey, Camerson actually linked the timer on their stream, so I can actually start the timer on that, so. <laughs> okay, yeah, and... that, that certainly makes life easier. And they're off. And you can explain the first bit of this while I ping the Discord, because I forgot to do that. Connor going to that BFI cage instantly and is immediately rewarded with a vile homing ammo. And Camerson is running into level 2 factory, getting all his hints. On Outer Isles, homing ammo. We'll see if that crops up in the hints somewhere. Camerson likes to look at all the doors and then check the pause menu for the hints. So let's see what we got. Mushroom, in mushroom exteriors, foolish. Shipyard outskirts, key eight. Hillside Diddy K roll. Factory chunky metal. And Jake's Force and lobbies on the path to key eight. Okay. Interesting. I didn't. Uh, I didn't catch the sprint cages. Connor was flying a little bit too quick while I was looking at. Uh, uh, looking the at dirt was nothing. Dirt was nothing. I didn't see what the sprint cage itself had. Whoop, 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 whoop. 
All right, we got a dirt patch going up here. What do we got? Junk. Well, actually, I guess it's, it's GB. Is that GB1? That might be GB1. That's pretty important to have. The first, uh, the first B locker will always cost one if there is a GB available, and there is, so it will cost one. So they need to find that before they can go into level one. A level two factory is very tempting, though. What was that like? I, I didn't. How much did that cost to enter? Like three or something? It was pretty short. Yeah, it wasn't very much. I didn't see the exact amount, unfortunately. But like getting a factory it's... early is so good. No alarm bells going off in my head. Is the point? Right. An early factory is like super nice to get to. It's just loaded with coins. If they can like stretch to get the GBs to get in there, it's really tempting to go into factory first. I think they might. Is this three? No, that's only two. Connor might get three, and that might make a difference. Didn't see castle, anything on top of castle, the castle. Castle level one is kind of garbage. It was a GB in the uh, in the bonus barrel, so nothing really interesting. Yeah, castle level one's kind of rough. I mean. There's like some coins floating around. You got some good shop access, but otherwise it's just gonna be kind of a trek, a trek through. Kind of slow. Low lands Maybe, are foolish. Yeah. Key two, key two in factory. Ooh, but castle candy shared. Chunky can be bought in factory, and then stormy tunnel on the path to chunky phase. Okay, we got a chunky K rule. And a shared move in candy in castle, so that's a very appealing to go to. That could be your diving, that could be your barrels, that could be your vines. So All three I, of those are awesome. I wonder because Connor has three gold mans, does he decide to go into train guards? I wonder if Connor does factory first. Instant replay puts it at four GBs, so I think he's going into here. Okay. All right, the age-old question, how do you traverse a level one castle? You want to climb, you go underground first? I'm yeah, kind of leaning underground myself, but... Yeah, and always always the thing about doing early castle climb is there's always that sphere zero dirt patch at the very top. Um, you do have tiny, so like the climb isn't horrible because you can just get her golden and climb up, but like it, it's always a decision you have to make, right? Like that climb sucks, especially if you're only getting one check. Two checks might be okay at the beginning. Yeah, and feather is not enough. Feather plus homing, if they found mini, they could do trash. That's kind of kind of suspicious to me. There's a lot of ways to do trash out of logic, or with another instrument. Like if they found guitar, it would be workable. They'd also need mini, but the the gun plus homing makes me suspicious of the trash can. Because logically, if you're doing it with a gun, it does require homing. Carison not even bothering with the castle candy right now. Nosey doesn't have the coins to do so. Um, in the meantime, Connor is going to be climbing up castle here first. I think a price check on candy might make sense. Just to get a sense of how much you might need or if you have to go to factory first. And I I kinda like the I kinda like the climb here too. I mean, I think you're likely to climb anyway, and if you're looking for like sphere zero stuff, you got this gasplat, you got tiny's metal on the way up, and you got the roof dirt. That's like three checks that like you kinda like have to commit on a climb for, but kinda works. I think. Harrison's really flexing his, their knowledge on the uh, coin locations here. These are not coins you would normally get if you're going to castle second or third. Yeah. That's kind of why I like would want to see what the price is at candy before committing to like going to do everything here. And picking up homing him on the way this is really smart. Nothing in the um, cranky shop. It looks like a violet funky is. Spring, though, that costs all your Diddy coins, which is not ideal, but an early move is, uh, an early move is an early move. Kind of hard pressed to, to skip that. Yeah, he's hesitating at that, uh, tiny gold banana buy. That's gonna not really be one you want to get it because, again, wasting all your coins not too great because you know you have to buy something in the candy shop. Yeah, if you have any dreams of buying what's in candy on your first trip, there's no way you buy that tiny move or that tiny GB. There's no more Diddy coins available, so Diddy's going to be broke until you get to factory. 
Well, okay, there's some Diddy coins available if you just, like, do some wild parkour and grab coins off lampposts, but that is certainly not worth your time. <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna be seeing that candy shop now. Let's see what we got. Hunter just finishing up his castle climb. Another GB on the metal, so not too bad. How expensive is this? Two coins! Wow, I could have grabbed, like, the Kenneth's Vines. Wow, nice. Have to refresh my stream because you're a little ahead. That's okay. All right, good. So refreshed. We should be good to go now. I hope. <laughs> but um, anyway, Connor is going to head down now, and I think we're going to see some vine swinging from him as well. Yep, he'll have the coins for it. But if he buys it with Diddy, he won't be able to get the spring at the basement. He, he doesn't know it, but he needs to buy it with Tiny if he wants to get everything out of here. Not that, uh, not that that spring is particularly impactful. I guess with the spring, it kind of, like, points you back towards the spring barrel and aisles, which is nice, but due to the whole... Jefferson taking a dip! Oh, no! Ooh. And Connor is I... going to buy this with Diddy. It's going to be very interesting. He will come up short on his purchase for spring. But that may Probably not end up, it, this will only matter if that Isles one ends up being something. Logically, it might matter in I other mean, places, but you really need to have that for the Isles one right now, because you don't have Chunky to do some boulder stress with to get it. Oh, he's just mm -hmm. not going to bother. Yeah, I mean, getting into factory is, like, super important, I think. Yeah, there's, like, there's really not much to do in Castle, it's just like, go, go, go. You got your important thing out of... Yeah, Funkies is really out of the way, and you know you're broke, so, like, if there is anything there, you can't buy it. It's it's kind of just, like, bad to miss Spring, because, like, that's just, like, directing you to the the check at Snides. It's like, hey, you should definitely have a look at this thing. Connor's not likely to look at this for a while. He's just much more interested in Factory. Oh, yeah. So if this is um... something important in Snides, then plays heavily in Cameron's favor. At least for now. But yeah, remember, like, that, that shop he didn't go to, that's gonna be living in the back of his mind. I don't think he orphans that. Mm. We're getting our first look at production now, maybe. Connor is fighting some camera angles. All right, or I guess we're not gonna see what production is. Okay, wait, is he climbing up, down? What is he thinking? Okay, he settles on well, down. Yeah. <laughs> he was uh, a little bit indecisive. I don't, I don't know if it was indecisiveness or maybe the uh, pole was just trolling him. I don't know. I never know what this I mean, game is, to be honest. I mean, production now seems like not incredible. There's like not much to do up there besides the like, Gusplat, and I guess you can get that GB. Maybe. Metals, maybe. Nothing particularly exciting. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna... Well, he's gonna kill that. Maybe he opts to climb. We're looking at a splat, not a key though, so we're looking for another we are looking for a key on a Kasplat. How did that so hit that... him? What the heck? I, I these coaches have been on one lately. The other day I got hit by one, I have no idea how. It, they're they're doing something with those clubs. They're juicing the clubs, they're corked. Alternatively, they can't control their clubs, so like they hit you in like the most random spots. I don't know. Like you can <laughs> see that they can barely control them. <laughs> it just hurts. It just all hurts. You can see Connor scooping up all these coins in factory. This is a this is a factory vintage. There's just coins everywhere, and they're just all really good to have early. He's gonna it's be nice one of the reasons why Connor coins. wasn't too excited about checking out that uh, funky shop and castle. Right, most of the value in that lower tunnel is the shop, and if you're broke, then like, what are you gonna do? Oh, but here we go, Snide's Barrel. What do we got here? Ooh. And it's a blueprint. Um. No dice. Did not pay out, but we have found a chunky potion and key two. What is going on here? That's not key two, that's key seven. <laughs> key two is on a Kasplat. Key Kasplat. seven, that is right. This is a that random key out of nowhere. Holy smokes. I mean, you'll take those, right? You'll take those. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah.
Got people in chat saying Jet Seed, but you know that's going to jinx the heck out of stuff. All right, I did a little bit of stream refresher here. Hopefully that's, um, hopefully we're in sync on, now. I think it's on my end. I toggled some switches. <laughs> Dang, dude, juicing up the latency. I know what you look, did. Man. <laughs> look, look, man, I'm terminally on Twitch. It's on, it, it, I got all the tools. I got all the tools at my disposal. You got, it's so important to be the first chatter up, you know? The first Dang. chatter to respond. The first chatter to freak out. The all first important. chatter to see that Connor got primate punch just now? You're so good. Holy smokes, he's good. Yeah, I agree. Elrock is definitely cooking here. He's not even doing the race. Punch is good, too. We need punch for Chunky K. Rule. Love to see that. Oh, there's Chunky right there. And there's a potion for Chunky. Oh, my goodness. This shop is loaded. The best part is he's not going to have Chunky Coins now, but... Because of the way he routed this, he can go into the like the DK Arcade area with Chunky when he has coins and just warp five to back to this. Oh, Camerson got a look at production. There's a yellow vial O stand. Interesting. Very I didn't look at that at all. I mean, there's only so many useful yellow vials, but given that they already have grab that, you know, increases the likelihood of it being good. Five coins in that Chunky move? Oh, there's so many coins in factory. <laughs> this is not a problem. And don't forget about the factory chunky metal. That is also in play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe Connor delayed his production climb until he got chunky out of the shop, and then he gets the metal on the production climb. That would be very smart. God, he's so smart. Yeah, like, we're thinking, okay, walk another kiki. What the heck? Huh? Out of nowhere? Okay, another key. Love that. Everything Connor does, it, like, he's like, oh, here's a key, lol, interrupting my train of thought while I'm talking. Uh, meanwhile, Camerson is going to make the climb without Chunky here. He might be on the hunt for key, too. The... It's it's a 50-50 at this point. It's either the R&D Kasplat or it's this Kasplat in production. Connor's killed all the other three. Honestly, this, if Connor purposely held off production until he got Chunky, that was brilliant routing. Because, like, he's going to come back there, get that Chunky medal. Like, he'll have everything ready to go. Camerson, in the meantime, is going to now have to make an extra climb. And we saw Spring in production not all that great. Spring in testing wasn't all that great. Mini Monkey. Whoa, that's not a key. Uh-oh. All right. So that's a, that confirms the key that's, like... Right here. <laughs> and with Feather is a ever exciting way to get the key. Oh boy. There it is. Bang, we got three keys in factory, just like that. We're missing key five. And oh, there's a potion! What is this early? This potion? No, you can't get it! It's a 2% so barrel! Uh 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 uh. <laughs> not, We're gonna have to come back for this one. Oh, Cameron's trying to kick slide up the. Oh, up the, oh the so slope. close. That is tough. That is a tough one. It is crazy hard. And for a yellow vial of uncertain value, I'm not sure he's going to commit to it. Yeah, that's not too bad to leave. It's, it's certainly worth a try and a good try, but it's not super important to get right now, I don't think. Oh, with Punch, you definitely get the medal for Chunky, too. Wow, Connor's going to run into this factory at like breakneck pace. Oh. He definitely made, I think he definitely made the right call to, to dive this as fast as possible. Uh, you want to check that dirt patch, Chief? Uh, uh, he's saving it for later, maybe. I don't know. Uh, huh? I, don't, I don't know. I, I, he's clearly cooking. I don't want to interrupt his strain of thought. He's out of coconuts. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that would it's, do it. I saw him tick to zero coconuts earlier. He's, that he's, would he's do out it. of those. <laughs> he ain't got no crystal coconuts. That's so sad. Right. I mean, he'll get some either... Where do you get crystal coconuts here? Is there some in the, early, in the first room? 
I mean, he's just soft and cranky. Yeah, you can talk to Cranky to get a refill, but that is a little awkward. I mean, if he had golden bananas, he can just buy a golden banana with it. True. So much for perfect routing. Unfortunate. Oh, well, you can see Camerson's tour of the room. There's dozens here, so he'll be fine. Yeah, because, oh, like, he knew it. Connor knew he had to buy this, so, like, I don't think he was that concerned. Right. A vial here, a vial up at Funky's. Chunky's. Chunky's delivering the goods. Factory delivering us the goods in general. Triangle's great. I'm, I'm a little scared of this factory, dude. They just dumped everything early. The, the usually sees like this, the, the alarm bells go off, right? Like there's gonna be one really, really stupid thing that's just gonna be a jet, or not a jet, but make this a casino at the end. All right, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that barrel, that Vines barrel is diving. And that mm. level three is like Aztec. And there's like nothing back there, which is why they have to dump all the stuff in factory because guitar is late and they can't do the back of Aztec or whatever. So they just like front load all the moves. Maybe they have to like return to like, oh, I don't know. Can they do anything new in like castle? They can do the shed. Hmm. Uh, oh, Mini, Mini gives them the trash can as well. So yeah, sheds so gotta... in play, trash cans in play. Definitely interesting options in castle. I'd be also interested to see, uh, ever, ever interested am I to see BFI and what's there. <laughs> Connor, I was going to say, that would be extremely bold if you chose to skip peeking this, but he is going to grab the coins. Can you go back to the dirt? I missed it. He did. He got a gold banana. There you go. Nice and safe. Well, GB, normally GB is pretty good. All right, we're getting this chunky potion here. Did, did we see the mini by arcade? I don't. I don't know if we saw it. Oh. That is pineapple launcher. Dang, we're loaded up on chunky moves. This is nice. This is real nice. That's now the crypt. We got the switch at the back of Aztec, or switch on the back of Isles. Uh. Jeez. Oh, we have the bad hit detection wheel. Oh wow, this is an interesting move. I'm wondering why he hasn't... Well, hmm. I wonder if Camerson's going to take his key too and go get his hints. Because, like, another five-pack of hints might illuminate where you might need to go next. If it's back in Castle or otherwise. But it could just be this bad hit detection wheel. I mean, this is just, like, a good, like, thorough clear of factory early, which I really like. Yeah, really, especially, especially in, like, levels one, two, maybe three. Like, full clearing no matter what is... Tends to be a good option a lot of the time. But, um, Connor Rainbow is... Coin. I think Connor, does he still need Chunky's metal? He hasn't climbed production yet, so... I think he's five short. In which case, if he, he climbs production key... now, he'll just get it. Yeah, he doesn't have key two marks, so he needs to climb production still, and he knows it, so... Yeah, that's, that's looks like that's, that's what, what we're seeing knows. here. Yep. Meanwhile, Camerson's gonna have to do the little backtrack with all the Chunky stuff to... go buy moves and whatnot. It's the bean! Well, Connor's right, the bean. Where, where oh, are my bean levers bean. in chat? Oh my god. Is... Is Camerson gonna get, get, get this bean? I don't know. Does he go back to production with Chunky? He probably does for the metal, but... But if it's early forest, you, you get both feather and pineapple. It's so, like the bean is oh super God. strong, this seed. There's great bean potential. We are a saxophone away from bean and logic. <laughs> There's saxophone oh, right there. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. What a call. What a call. And it's way of the horde. It's way of the horde. It's a way of the horde sax. Bean levers, oh. are you living? The bean levers are up good right now. They're eating good. Hang on. Forest 3? You run straight to Forest Funky? Connor is going to check the boss, but as we saw on cameras and stream, it is absolutely nothing. Check your early bosses, folks. It's good. It's good for you. I believe both of our runners yesterday expressed regrets at not checking the Galleon boss at level 1 instantly. When we get a car race check here... Connor did not do this. 
Mini, yeah, let's mini see what we got in the car team. race. This could flip the... Uh, Connor's ahead, but this could flip the odds in Cameron's favor if this is something. It is it's a not. battle crown. Nope. Oh, oh. Is that an exit aisles? No. Okay. Whew. Okay, that was just an exit level. I think exit level, run back in, take warp two, might be faster than running out the... Running out the tunnel. Interesting. Let's see if Small Connor things. can do the kick slide up to uh, the the uh, potion up here. Step one, get the key. This is what he came for. This kick slide is uh, not a simple one. You gotta yeah, walk a little with, bit like, ways. the camera moving around too. Oh my goodness, Connor just makes that look so easy, and it's nothing. Well, <laughs> he certainly knows that he's doing to to get that kick slide down, but uh. A strong gong is not your strongest of moves, but it's enough to get him to, to go peek the crusher out of logic, it looks like. Cameron's getting the bad news. That vial is uh, inaccessible as of yet. <laughs> not getting that right now. All right, what do we got here? This is a good check. Like, this is fast. Even if you don't have DK, you can just damage boost your way in. But, like, especially since you have strong kong, it's now in logic, so. Man, I hate doing that, but Connor made that look so easy with Chunky. I might have to do it with Chunky forever now. I thought Diddy was the go-to, but I may be a convert. I'm stealing that. Well, we have oh. levels, um, what does it got? Three and five to check here for hints. Good bit of info. Pearl in the pineapple cage, and I already got a pineapple. You only need one pearl, so we're not going back for that one. No need to waste your ammo on that. Rainbow coin on Cabin Isle? Ooh, yes please. Yes please. Oh, here's Aztec at five. Information, please. Ooh. Castle of Colored Bananas is dead. That is good news. Those metals can suck sometimes. And the bean's way in the horde! <laughs> the bean! The bean is oh way in the horde, chat! We're living! Oh right my the god. Shed. The shed is way in the horde, and they have all the stuff for it, too. That's in logic. Shape shops, key five. Okay, well, oh my god. I mean, your keys are solved, right? If that is just yep. simply key five in the shop, you're just you're just chilling. <laughs> Life is good. I, I I can't believe we're getting the bean C, dude. This is amazing. This is incredible. Shipyard outskirts is Diddy K rule, I think is what it said. Yes. So there's our second Diddy K rule hint, which is good because we have nothing. <laughs> we have nothing for that. So that, that that's good information. Connor wants this. Yeah, I was going to say he wants this. Meanwhile, yeah, we're getting... Oh, it's level lobbies. 3 factory! Or level, level 3 forest? Oh my goodness. Oh, James and there's forest guitar! Was... Yeah, James Forest lobbies on the path to key 8. That guitar is a big find. Okay, more, more hints. Hang on. Alright, R&D Lanky K roll. Whoa. Uh, Chunky finds Lanky and Japes. Foolish Tiny Temple. Factory Funky Tiny. I'm not sure which one that was. And the... Kasplan the Block Tower. That was Punch. Is way the Horde. And then Factory Funky Tiny. Which one was that? That was... Try to find Lanky in. Was that Pineapple Triangle or... Was that Pineapple or Triangle? Um, for what? Factory Funky Tiny. Oh, was that Chunky? Oh, that was Chunky. Never mind. Yeah, okay, that was yeah. Chunks. Chunky's away the Horde. Okay, no surprises. Factory R&D was Lanky K. Rule, I believe. Yes. Which is interesting, because that's only Mini Monkey right now. So we got to find a use for Mini Monkey. Perhaps... And test testing can splat was Primate Punch, right? Perhaps we are about to find barrels on the Beanstalk. Hmm. Yeah, the uh, the testing can was just Punch. So that, that explains that, especially because the Shed is also way of the Horde, so we need Punch to get in the Shed. All right. We have the bean, a 25 minute bean chat, and it's guaranteed to have something because it was hinted. 25 minute way of the horde bean. That's crazy. <laughs> we usually don't Before... feast this well, chat. Not at all. Bean levers up tremendous. We're short two Kongs before we get up the beanstalk. What if this is a Kong? Wouldn't that be crazy? I think most likely this is barrels is my guess, but... We'll see. It is a clear potion. That's going to be mm. barrels or diving. 
money. Or <laughs> plot twist, it's another slam. <laughs> and then and all everyone's hell loose. just like mind blown. Here we go, we're going up the beanstalk! Yes! You love to see it. You love to see it. Keeping some things in mind here, factory R&D area was path of lanky K rule. We got mini monkey there, so like there could be a decent amount of things that could be. So like barrel throwing, I believe someone mentioned in chat that this is probably the path to lanky K rule here because you do need barrel throwing for the lanky phase. Yep. So you know we need it. Boom. That path yep. is. Technical cleared, and we have pearl number three available. Let's see if Connor buys it, even though we changed it so you only need one pearl. Nope. Skip one pearl, he's not buying another one. <laughs> as rich as he might be from factory. Harrison coming back into factory to buy these moves. I mean, he's gotten the good word that the bean is way of the horde, so he'll be pretty happy to see pineapple momentarily, especially because he knows it's forest three, so... A little bit of a disjointed factory routing for him, but it should... It should work out in the wash. He'll end up in the right spot. But perhaps a little bit behind Connor, as Connor is already blazing through. Let's see what's on the minecart. Ooh, Camerson leaving behind pineapple and factory still. He's going back to... Yeah, this... for the shed. Oh, he might have, he got the he, he got triangle and was like, oh, I gotta go to the shed now. Go to the shed. Yeah, look, I mean, I'm there. I'm sure he'll remember it to go back, but like yeah. that this could have been easily like that's gonna be another trip for him. That's gonna be a little bit of time loss. Yeah, just unfortunate. It makes sense, right? New way of the horde logic. I'm missing one thing. It's just yeah. here. It just all links up. It's 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 easy to think that. Because a lot of the time it's true, but then when it isn't, it's just like, uh, you're just stuck in, a, stuck in a rut thinking one thing or another, and it's just not quite right. But especially if you're on Karrison's side, going up against the number one seed, you have to be making plays in order to get any kind of advantage that you can. So I don't blame him for, like, you know, like, pigeonholing these way of the hordes, because you know it has to be something. Ooh, and, and diving might be the diving. best thing okay. you can do. That might be the best thing he could have gotten here. Because now he can go to Lobby 4 and get more hints. We just look at the coconut cage is dead. And we we love diving. I'm sure we need that for some reason. Japes. Well, Lanky is in Japes with Chunky, so... Can we get Chunky with what we if got? If Japes is cheap, this is going to be big. Hmm. 16. Ooh, okay, that's well, just not cheap enough. There. That is unfortunate. He's just a little bit short. Connor is two away, so ideal. Oh, let's see what these are first. Storage is dead. We don't need to do that barrel we saw earlier. Llama. Okay, that factory metal rewards on the path to key eight is interesting. We pulled Sax off that. So maybe that's suggesting Sax is like Helm. Jabe's Force and Lobby's pulled Guitar, so maybe it's Guitar for Helm. Feather for key eight. In fact, mm. shops key seven, which is a little bit worthless right now. Yep, yeah, already got our key seven, no problems there. Connor doing kegs. It's almost in logic. Once you get donkey, it's in logic, but that's crazy. Harrison cannot, or still did not get pineapple, so very unfortunate there. I wonder if he just like forgot or something. Meanwhile, Connor is probably just going to go straight for castle. Nope. Or is he thinking, ah, uh, use barrels for something? Makes sense. I don't think this triangle is hinted. Um, oh, but he might use barrels to like get the roof dirt or something. 
But I think we're likely to see... Oh, the, mush the mushroom exterior is foolish, so there actually isn't really much else to do in Forest. You could, like, go to, like, some of the interior rooms, like, face shooting. Or, like, a splat inside the mushroom. Or, like, the tiny switch in there. Camerson can't even do face shooting without pineapple. So, Forest is kind of bad. <laughs> There's really not a lot here for him. All right, we're going to see oh, he does have springs, so you can do... You can do Dark Rafters. You can do Dark Rafters. You can do Spider Boss if you're feeling ambitious. Oh, we're going to BFI check. Nope. So, Connor does have six gold bananas. If he go goes to that factory wave the Horde now, which it looks like he is, this is very good for him because he can just immediately go into Japes and start clearing. And with his knowledge, he knows Japes is level four because it contains a Kong. So it has to be there. It's like Japes has to be in level four slot. He knows that. I don't think we've had a donkey hint yet. So I think donkey's going to be kind of late because you're going to go find your key five in a Japes shop, hopefully. And then you take key five to go get your donkey hint in level six or seven. So we might just you, at any point, one of these guys could just randomly stumble into donkey just due to where the hint was placed. Yeah, he's going for diving right here right now. I wonder if Connor will go into the shop that he skipped earlier. That's my question. Emerson using rare LZR knowledge to escape the mills. Love that. Yeah, Connor is going to stick around for a bit, I think. Makes sense. I mean, trash is right here. You can do the museum, too. And, I mean, what, what else might he be looking for in the first three levels? He's got vines, he's got diving, he's got barrels. Those are all guaranteed plays to before level four, and he has all three, so... They're kind of not a lot of reason to stick around. The surroundings aren't even hinted. I think he's just doing this because it's fast. I'm not sure he goes to the museum, because that's also not hinted. Well, he's, he has 17 like he's GBs. Staying, so... he's a, he is on track for Japes. He's in, he's in good shape. Yeah, maybe he's going to be ending on museum here. I could see that being a thing. Yeah, getting inside the museum and running into the check isn't too bad, but it is kind of, like, isolated. These castle rooms are, like, <laughs> they're larger on the inside than they may appear on the outside. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of things in this game, to be fair. Mm, like, this did a, this Diddy Attic, for instance. Yeah. Which has a uh, golden banana, which is not going to be grabbed. Here, got here. got some magicians doing some interior decorating. Handling business for us. A GB? I mean, a GB is tempting, but Connor decides it's too slow. No dice. Oh, we get a look at the barrel's crown, too. Here we go. He doesn't have spring still. We know yeah. spring to be in uh, Castle Funky. Connor might have considered checking Funky because he hasn't checked it yet, but... Yo, we got a spring. spider boss sighting here. Oh, my. Cameras are really digging deep to try and find progression. Which is back in a shop and factory, so he's not he might find something here, but it won't be what he wants. He's just a golden banana. Uh I mean with pineapple this fight would be maybe fast enough to consider, but I think with feather it's pretty bad, so he's leaving. <laughs> yeah, I mean that is a mini monkey check, and that is in logic, so like I can see his thought process mm -hmm. with that. Right. Mini monkey being hinted for a lanky K rule and you know. Barrels is kind of the, the big question mark for him right now. Wouldn't Where in the first three levels is my barrel throwing? Let's meet some good news for Connor in second here. He has enough gold bananas to enter Japes. Once he gets these hints, he will be entering shortly. We're going to be seeing the forest in the meantime here in just a moment. We know exterior is dead, so only the inside can have something. That includes the inside rooms at the very top of the mushroom, not the outside Kasplats, for instance. Now, there are foolish regions, but I think they're like checks that are fast enough that some of them are worth doing. Like the Kasplats on the, the Kasplat on the way up is worth doing. Maybe you like get the one on the way down when you like drop or something because it's just fast. And if it's a GB, that's great. Connor's making sure Chunky will be a rich man by the end of the seed. Has 34 coins with him already. Yeah. This is what a factory start does to you. It just loads you up on coins, and then you find rainbow coins, and then you're just... You're printing currency. 
You're printing so much currency, the Secret Service is onto you. Nothing in the coconut cage. One of my favorite checked areas in the game right here, which is... Chunky Boulder, and then two more in the underground area. Chunky Boulder or anything? No. We're looking for Lanky here on a Chunky check, so... Maybe the metal... We got vines, we got pineapples, so it could be on the ch the underground check here. Do we see Donkey Kong? Hello. No, it's a GB. Not I bad, though. this flat. Fast check, so wouldn't say no uh, to that. And it's dead. <laughs> Like his blind has junk. He dropped a melon like he's a beaver. For clarification here, Camerson is doing some of the exterior James checks, but because e, even though if they're hinted foolish, you can still get golden bananas from them. So there is still things you can do to get there, especially if you can get some fast checks. You just won't be getting any moves to beat the game. Right. And there's just decent odds that he just does random stuff in Forest, right? Getting some medals now. Like, what if and these medals just like turn up something crazy? It, it's very possible. In worlds where things are casino-y, that low requirement stuff, like, say, climbing the mushroom for Chunky's metal, it's gonna turn up the goods, and if something is randomly found unhinted, it might be there, and yeah, he gets his metal and leaves. There's nothing else for him to do at the top of the mushroom. He is sort of, like, sacrificing the potential to, like, have Super Warp 4. Super duper Simeon Slam! Or Warp 5 at the top of the mushroom by leaving before getting to the top, but probably fine. Jape's Super hillside duper. is hinted. Uh-oh. Hinted for Diddy K roll, even. Of which we have neither move. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, well, the good news uh, okay. is they're not going to have key issues, so I guess they have that right. going for them. Yeah, great. You got all your keys. Now go find Peanuts, Rocket Barrel, uh, Gorilla Gun, Hunky Chunky, Trombone, and whatever you need for Helm. Maybe another instrument. Maybe Bongos. Camera says it's 16, says, give me Japes. Two GBs in the Diddy Cage. That is just blessed. Love seeing that. Ooh, and a that red vial a... behind a Link. So cage. that that would be a lot better of a thing to see now that <laughs> instead of a super duper Simeon Slam Lock thing, right? <laughs> right. That is much more interesting. It is much more likely that the hillside hint is pointing at that red vial, of which is a what two and three chance to be a Diddy K roll move. <laughs> Much more likely that. So, going back to Camerson's stream here, if Lank ends up being on Chunky's Colored Banana Rewards, I'm thinking that even without Pineapple Gun, I think you have barely enough to get 40. Yeah, if you have access to the underground, you definitely have enough. Because there's what, like five? Yeah, there's like five in a tree in the Stormy Tunnel. Oh, well, okay, that's pretty good. Well, there hunky is chunky. no no hunky chunky casinos now. The stormy tunnel area was hinted for this, and there it is. Boom for chunky K roll. We're good. All right, one less problem to solve. And here's another move in a jape shop, but we don't have lanky, so we will have to return for you. Um, yeah, you get five and like on top of crankies here. There's five around the boulder. There's like ten underground. Or maybe it's twenty. Or maybe it's fifteen. And there's 10 up the path to the hive tunnel. Oh, there's there's 10 on top of Funkies here. Yeah, and I think I think it, I'm pretty sure you have 40. Yeah, five this, five on top of um, Crankies here as well. So I'm pretty sure that's enough. Yeah, dipping it up. I'm pretty sure it's good. Yeah, because there's 10 on the way to the hive tunnel, and yeah, Connor's 10 short, so he's good to go. But if it's not here, then they may have to find Donkey and Coconut Gun to make... Well, actually... Well, no, no, well I guess be... they just got Hunky Chunky. Yeah, I was going to they have yeah. Hunky Chunky, so it can't... Um, like, he can be up in the hive area. Yeah, that's, like, the worst it could be, I guess. We're definitely but, getting Lanky, then. But Connor does have all the tools, so I don't think he's... Act... I don't think he's terribly concerned about it, as far as I know. No, Lanky will not be Donkey Locked here. 
So we're we're good to go here. You're walking out of here with your fourth Kong with key five. Go get your hand. Oh, go find where Donkey is. Oh, there's another vial here. Oh, tiny locked. But it's a blue vial. Hmm. Couldn't that be our trombone? It'd be a. It's a straight one and five right now. We don't know where any other lanky moves are. I mean, you're definitely gonna come back here with lanky when you get lanky, right? Or, oh yeah. Hmm? Right. Rather I guess, because I guess it the depends on vial. what moves you have, but like it makes sense. Well, there's the lanky vial at Cranky, so I guess you're about to get lanky right now. Oh, okay, no. Nope. It's going to be in the hunky chunky barrel. It's slightly delayed, but you're getting lanky now, essentially. So, like, you probably run back to, the, to Cranky, buy the move there, and then I guess come back again once you get DK plus Donkey. I mean, I think that's probably the way to go. Warps kind of like get you around Japes pretty quickly. The Hive Tunnel's pretty isolated, but oh well. You'll make do. This is the one of the easier stealthy snoops. The vanilla gameplay is the one you find in Angry Aztec. So Connor's gonna have ten more hints to get as he after he leaves Japes. Nine of them are available because one is still rocket barrel locked. Or one will be rocket barrel locked in caves. We are missing. One foolish hint, three way the hordes, uh, three key hints, and one K rule hint, and the helm hint. So, I th and most important of those, I think, is the helm hint, just to like confirm whether or not you need bongos. I think Connor is going to check out the hive. Yeah, I think he's going to. He might just be getting the metal wall. No, he's going to go in. Yeah. Because then he can get Tiny's Metal, too. It's also just good density in general. Keeping up your GB count. Just keep moving forward. You gotta get to 60 to get into Helm at some point. Those GBs don't come out of nowhere. You gotta you gotta work for those. While we'll checking other stuff. If we if we suspect the seed is as fast as it, as it appears to be, then... Time to, time to step on the gas. Interesting fact here, Camerson's actually doing better with GBs right now. Right. We'll see if clearing that makes that, a difference later mushroom. on. Yeah, clearing out that forest, uh... They have turned up good. And choosing to grab the, uh, the hunky chunky GBs here, or CBs here. Has he gone underground? I guess he, he probably hasn't if he doesn't have the metal yet. No. Oh, he doesn't have barrels, because the barrels on the beanstalk and he doesn't have pineapple, right? Yep. Yeah, no problems getting the metal, so he's not even worried about... I guess he's worried about Lanky being in the underground, but he doesn't have to worry about it. He is all good. I've been a bit of a dead end. Pause eggs a level out of there. Connor returning, probably to go buy that Lanky move. Yeah. Probably going to be getting that move, then going into checking the other hints. I mean, what move would make you do anything else? I mean, I guess, like... Peanuts, maybe? It is... It is Grape Shooter. Pretty good. Don't say no to that. Uh, no reason to need it yet, but, you know, hey, another gun to the collection. Pretty good. And it is one little fewer blue vial, so now that blue vial that's coconut locked is now a, uh, a one in four to be trombone. Hey, level 7, what do we got? Well, he'll get the grape uh, cage here first, but... In just a moment, we'll be seeing level 7. We'll be seeing the lobby. I don't think he's going in. A, a 26 GB level 7 would be a outrageously low. Not the lowest we've seen, but it would be very low. A galleon. Ooh. Outskirts is hinted for key 8 and Diddy K rule. And guess what checks are on outskirts? Mm. Super duper simian slam locked ones. Mmm. Yeah, a fair few of them. Oh, the Jeep's tiny banana. Jeep's tiny cages. Cannon's Wait, the horde, that's the blue is. vial? Frantic factory metal rewards. This yep, key four. four. Yep. No surprises there. Azteca Splat is DK. Ooh. Maybe we're going there next. Aztec 
Oh, we're definitely going there next. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, without a doubt. Ooh, just barely misses the kick slide jump into the the bonus barrel. That's a cheeky one. Both a possible super duper hinted and Jape's fourth lobbies hinted. Like you can find like a monkey port here. What was that? A uh, gold banana count on B Locker forty four. Forty nine. It was forty something. <laughs> 49 looks like 49 okay Connor's only at 28 he's not getting there anytime soon but now he's got two more way the hordes to follow well he's got a way of the horde and a half to follow uh he should be able to do he can almost do every kasplat in aztec the only one he can't do is the rocket barrel locked one or i guess he also can't get the one that's locked by donkey so it's not going to be there so he's got like a uh, a 75% chance to to get this to get DK if he just goes to Aztec that's pretty good on top of the, whatever is way of the horde and the candy and at the, the very least the at the very least Connor does have reason to go there because even if he can't get DK there is that Aztec candy way of the horde that he knows is there alright what do we got Riley proving why he's so smart the Llama Temple is foolish so it's not going to be that guy it's actually a two out of three to to get DK then. Uh, I think uh, I think the placement of items is really kind of stringing Camerson along, which is not good. Factory shops, Linky K roll, interesting. A lot of stuff in factory shops. Uh, that was hunky chunky is way of the horde, so we know why. No surprises there. That's our last way of the horde, so that's all we got. Oh, don't tell me our Helm Order's rocket barrel locked. Okay, there it is. Lanky Donkey Diddy. We do need bongos. Trofenskopf's T8. Trofenskopf's T8. We got a bossy Whoa. chat. Turn around. Turn around. Check all your bosses. Uh-oh. <laughs> we got bongos on a boss. We got monkey porter on a boss. That's not good. We got trombone on a boss. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What was that? Helm hit now? The helm was Lanky Donkey Diddy, so we do need bongos. We also need trombone. And they got a second Lanky K rule hint, but it points at factory shops, which got them pineapple, which got them barrels on the beanstalk. So that hint doesn't really help them find trombone. No. Fortunately, trombone is the or Lanky is the first room in helm, so if they're missing trombone, they'll they can get a helm hint pretty easily. Oh wait, I just realized. You know, Etiquette's a any kid's a genius. Storage is foolish. That vial we saw that's rocket barrel and peanut locked in in factory, that is dead. That is garbage. It's a that, vial. That's, a, that's a good one to you find out is foolish. That is a very good one. <laughs> that is an excellent hint. Yeah, then now we don't have to worry about that guy at all. Whew. But that's what super if they, what if they it, need more space? What if they need an ammo belt? What yeah. if they need more <laughs> instrument power? You never know. Mm. You know, somehow. Somehow, I think they'll make do. It'll be tough. They'll really struggle, but I think they'll pull through. Oh. Chunky's not pulling through as he's getting owned by these bees. Yeah, these zingers are not having it, and Connor is not having any of these zingers. Goodbye. Connor <laughs> could use more crystals. <laughs> Good one. So we're about to, we're running towards a way of the horde at Candies here. Diddy's buying something good here. We need Monkey Port, we need Gorilla Gun, we need Bongos, we need Trombone, we need Rocket Barrel, we need Peanut. That's Rocket a fair few things. Really nice here. Yeah, that would resolve any problems you have with DK. You just guarantee get DK here, which would be awesome. All right, what is Candy cooking, chat? Coconut Shooter. Ooh, oh yeah, we very like yeah, we definitely needed that to get to the tiny cage. So that'll get you a blue vial in Japes. Perhaps that's your trombone. That would make sense. That's that's lightly locked enough, and the beanstalk is heavily locked enough that it would like eat all your hints up. That kind of makes sense. And it also gets you the red vial on the hillside. 
on Lanky's Cage. You do Lanky's and then Tiny's, you get a red vial and a blue vial. Maybe that's one of Penis or Rocket Barrel and the blue vial is Trombone. You're really hoping for that, and then you go find Rocket Barrel in the Galleon Outskirts, or you find the other Diddy move in Galleon Outskirts and life is good. Maybe maybe it's just simply that easy. DK64 randomizer.com seeds are never that easy, though. <laughs> never, never, never. Yo, let's can't just, go in the castle? What's happening here? Huh. He might just be clearing out stuff. He's he's thinking he's he's short something, right? Hmm, I wonder what he's looking for. I mean, he's got all his keys, right? So he's off to... Maybe he's thinking trash. Oh, he didn't do this when he did shed, so he's like, oh... He might have, he might be just, like, afraid he, like, orphaned this. See, now, th this kind of sucks for Cameron, because if he's like, oh, no, where's Pineapple, and starts clearing out all this level one stuff, these are some long checks here, so, like, this is going to be a huge time sink. All yeah, the DK. factory... All right, life is good. The other problem is that the factory shop since got to Triangle, and Triangle was used in the shed. Now, Triangle's part of an either-or in the shed, so it's kind of a weak hint. But he might be thinking, like, it's diving locked somehow. I don't know how, but somehow. Here's something we haven't seen yet. The greenhouse. Give us a, give us a little cut. Actually, he wants the lanky banana, so he's not doing it. And the lanky coins, too. Hmm. Oh, here's a cut. Come on. Give it to us. Do it. The camp cut. It's very hard. Uh, he's just going to run through the maze, it looks. Oh! Uh -huh, not went, so fast, he, you got it. Cheeky <laughs> angle. Yeah, he just kind of, like, free-balled it on that corner. I, uh... That's very hard to do. <laughs> mm. Alright, I think... Alright, I'm formulating the theory. So that TNS to Key 8, I'm thinking it's going to be a Barrels Locked boss. Because we've got Feathers on the path to Key 8, Sacks on the path to Key 8. That kind of is telling me that, like, okay, I think maybe it's the Beanstalk on the path to Key 8, which was Barrels. So if it's just a Barrels Locked boss that has, like, your Monkey Port or Gorilla Gun, that would answer a bunch of questions about your hints. Unfortunately, it would, because it answers a bunch of questions about your hints, it still leaves you a lot of stuff left to find without hints. It's not great. And don't forget, we also have one more key hint that we're missing, and it's possible that that's just a key, another key hint. And I think, it's just based likely. on what I see here, it's very likely it's key, yeah. Every other every key was... was... Was a direct hint, so yeah, there's no issues there. None of your keys were locked by anything, so basically all all the, the bandwidth for key hints is going straight to key 8, so you should get a sixth key 8 hint here. Somewhere. And because of my theory that it's a barrels locked boss, that factory or that castle boss that Cameron just checked was not super high in my mind to check. I would very much so check this Aztec boss that Connor's right next to. That that is a very very good one to check right now. Cameron's choosing to go back to forest. Not ideal. He needs to return to factory for sure. What might he be thinking? He's done Dark Rafters. He might be oh, Owl Tree area. You could do like the Ant Hill. Yeah, I think that's about it. I don't oh, know if he checked the boss here yet, did he? Here? Ooh. This is likely a, a Barrel's Lock boss as well because it's level 3. Yeah, this Night Attic is a good check. Connor's checking the Aztec boss right now. See what he pulls up. Oops. I like the restraint from Connor to not get his coconut and DK and just bail for Japes immediately to go get two vials that are probably very important. I, I think it makes a lot of sense to just continuously efficiently clear out Aztec and just both build your GB count and... And possibly find more stuff. Llama Temple's foolish, Tiny Temple's foolish. So, like, your trip probably isn't that long. Maybe you, like, take your... Ooh, there it is. The... Oh, here that, we go. That's a Chunky Potion. That's going to Bang. be Gorilla Gone. There it is. That's but it's a it right tiny... there. But it's a tiny boss door. There's a chance this is magic. It's not. <laughs> Alright. It's just a barrel of boss. Alright. 
Well, Connor gets a nice like two minute timeout. That would have been extremely advantageous for Connor if that was Magic, because he knows how to fight this boss without pony. Um, he knows how to fight Magic without ponytail twirl. I don't know if Cam does. I don't. Not a lot of people in the randomizer community do know because this is barely something you have to do. Yeah, usually it's something you just like. <laughs> you learn on the fly because it is so much faster to learn to do. Or to, it is so much faster to 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 skip your twirl requirement than than it's, go find it, twirl. It is not pretty though. <laughs> It's really not. It sucks a lot. I've done it. It is is very unpleasant. The camera fights you tooth and nail the whole time. But instead, we've got Army 2 who just ruins everything as usual. When we're looking for bosses... Wait, hang on. Camerson found something. What is this? This is the forest boss. It's a purple vial. Is this twirl? Oh. Or monkey port? But it's barrels locked. Oh, no. Oh no! This is like kind of bad for him, but it's also kind of good for him. If that's Monkey Port, this goes insane. He has to find barrels, but he has the information now. He knows there's a purple vial there that's like a 50 50 to be required. That's huge. And with the hints he has, styling. it makes a lot of sense for him to check it. But he's missing his pineapple that'll get him to the beanstalk to get. To, to get barrels, so he's got to go back to factory. That's I mean, he's such a rough out. one, man. <laughs> but now he has barrels on his mind, so he should be thinking first three levels. He just cleared out castle. He's now clearing out forest. I think he's very likely to go back to, to factory soon. The problem with what he's checking right now is he's going to the Altry area, but he got Lanky in level four, which means nothing Lanky does will get you barrels because it's you have to find barrels before level four. So barrels cannot be in the algae here. Nor is it going to be on his metal. Real Connor, yeah, that boss. I, I don't know if Connor checks other bosses here unless he really needs Mini Monkey. Because, like, checking bosses are kind of bad because it takes so much time. We'll see, though. Oh, like, please. ultimately, Mini Monkey... Or not Mini Monkey. Monkey Park does get hinted, so... Yeah. As long, it's going to be a... Uh, you get a hint for... Yeah, you get a hint for, like, Tiny and Forest, and you might check the spider boss before you check the actual boss, which is horrible, but here we are. You might check the Ant Hill first. Yeah, it's good information for Cam, but because both Gorilgon and Monkey Port will get hints, it's not really a disaster if you find one and not the other and assume your hint is solved. Because you'll, you'll get there in the end, right? You'll get a chunk, or you'll get a Tiny and Aztec hint, or you'll get a Tiny and Forest hint. If, if that's even Monkey Port, that could be Twirl and Connor just like never learns there's a vial there <laughs> because Monkey Port is somewhere else. <laughs> that world exists too. Speaking of vials, Ammo Oh, hello. Oh. But mm. look how much Connor can play his instrument now. So much power. Overwhelming. And I can imagine no Connor's now yeah. going to go back to Japes. No reason not to. Surely. There he goes. Nanometal. for the road. Love that. Yeah, you have I, no reason to go to caves. I don't uh, think I've ever seen that leaving anthill cutscene before. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. The, the anthill is like a, a natural, like, dead end to to forest. Pawn zigs are there all the time. Okay, Camerson's back in factory. Here we go. I mean, this is almost by default at this point. He's kind of cleared out castle and forest. Really unfortunate, but he's got. This is what he needs to do. So he's back on the track. He's back on track. Maybe he can get this. Maybe he can get this crumbling to bully Connor for a little longer. <laughs> the enemies in the, the stormy tunnel area are huge. Connor's got to break three of these. You know, we've come a long way to this. We used to be terrified of spiders in this area. Yeah, now it's just like, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, um, now we're chilling. Harrison is going to oh. Dark Bard. Maybe the shot preview. It is trombone. All right. All right. Life is good. We know we need that. That was the hinted one. Let's see what's in the lanky cage. That is a red vial that we uh, is 
two out of three chance to be required. Uh, but maybe the uh, the fairy shot preview will uh, will <laughs> make Camerson realize that oh my god, there's a move to buy at the shop. Oh, for his sake, that that happens. Here we go. Crunky vile. Hang on. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what he needs. This, this is gonna save. Him. This is gonna save him. There we go. Oh, oh. Right. He left. Uh, okay, maybe he's that's going faster. Back in. I don't know. I don't know if that's fast or not, but whatever. What's this red vial? And there's Rocket Barrel. Rocket. Love that. Excellent. Perfect. Connor is currently cooking. Meanwhile, I think Camerson is actually going back. Very good news for him. Here we go. That'll put him on the path. But I don't see Connor slowing down at any point. He's Connor not. is indeed Boy. cooking. However, Connor has now resolved every one of his way of the hordes. All he has left now is just a bunch of... Just a, a bunch of path hints to maybe piece together the last couple things. Karrison can't has no, feel no, good about that by, while we're talking. <laughs> well, I mean, there's some hope. There's some hope yet. Galleon is definitely the most interesting level because we have outskirts to key 8 and outskirts to DDK rule. It's possible those are both the same thing, being peanuts, but... Uh... Is it possible? Yeah. Is it possible? Wait. Yeah. It's possible those are both the same item. Dane's trying to avoid doing that, but it's possible. Amazon on his way to climb the beanstalk. Bean levers, you get a second dose. Take it in. Baskin. Baskin all its glory, bean levers. Yeah, I think Connor Connor is currently clearing out a foolish region. I think he knows I just need stuff. So he's going yeah. back to like factory to like buy GBs. He's trying to get into he's trying to push to get into Galleon at 49. That is not cheap. And he doesn't need to worry about not having slams or anything, either. Yeah, I think he's just getting a medal here and he's piecing. Gotta be. I don't know if he cored out the shops yet, but he might be doing that as well. Mm, no luck on the medal, unfortunate. Up the stock you go! To go get your barrel throwing, and then he's probably gonna go tell us what's uh, we're probably gonna about to see what's on that fa on this uh, forest boss. Um, it has a fifty percent chance to be very important and a fifty percent chance to be the most unfortunate twirl placement of all time. Barrel throwing now in the procession of camera said now they can progress the seed finally. Here we go. He knows what Connor to do with barrels, so that's probably... pretty good. Connor's probably doing one more uh, one more dive for Lanky Bananas here and then piecing out, I would say. Maybe getting yeah. the tiny car race. Emerson's gonna have to do all of Aztec as well. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a rough one for him to catch up on. He's gonna get through Aztec to go get his uh, coconut and DK. Connor just is gonna make a dump at this point. I love this. You know you need to get into this level but you're not certain it's going to give you your go mode. Just dump now, and you'll get more GBs as you clear stuff as you go. No key problems this seed, but move problems. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, what are we missing now? We're just missing monkey port and bongos, yeah? Keyboard bongos. Actually, yeah, that is all Connor's missing. And peanut. Oh, yeah, peanut. I think Connor has enough for level six caves, but not Galleon. Um, he is going to get the final hint here, though. Hmm. This is a good call. Well, actually, he can't get into Galleon yet, so he might just be doing caves tricks because they're fast. 
Alright, check out this lobby. Get the splat here, get the hint. Guitar pad, life is good. Alright, drum roll please, what do we got? Last key hint, this could be very good. It is monkey port! Oh baby. Oh wow, that is exactly what Cam needed. That is that is big. If that was not a monkey port, that would have been a disaster. Uh, meanwhile, the final key hint was the beanstalk, so not much help there. Forest centered beanstalk, but it's like almost certainly the barrels. Because that was right, you needed barrels to get a uh, yeah. You need barrels to get Gorill gone. In Connor's mind, that hint is already solved. But little does he know, he also has to go back to Force to fight that boss. <laughs> He'll get the monkey port hint when he gets to forty nine before he can go. To I, I don't think. I don't think there's going to be a lot of issues just because, like, again, you can just grab that hint. Yeah. It is still very funny. Monkey Port and Gorilla both on bosses. That is just kind of <laughs> rude. So this leaves the question of what's in the outskirts. What is in the shipyard outskirts? I Fair. don't think it's going to be the mech. I don't think it's going to be the mech fish because the mech fish requires peanuts. So if anything is on the mech fish, it would have to be. It would be a little, a little bit crazy because because <laughs> it would have to be bongos i guess on the mech fish so it's like less likely there more likely in the two-door ship especially because they have super duper and super duper was in the hillside uh possibly the sub there's an outside chance it's the seal but we don't have blast so that would be a problem it could just you know be the classic cactus gasplat that's a tried and true But two moves to go for Connor at the hour seven minute mark. He is uh he is on cruise control. He is going fast. Yeah, he just grabbed three bananas really quickly out of that shop. And there's two more shops to go too. I yep. doubt he's gonna stay here very long. Just probably wants to get 49 and peace out. Right. There's no real reason to. Nothing here is hinted. Cabins are foolish even, so if he goes to the cabins area, it's purely for density. He doesn't even go to candies. Was he going to get this guy? He's going to get a flyby? He's just not skilled enough. That's unfortunate. Ammo belt. Great. He's going to be able to carry so much ammo into the K. Rule fight. Look, man, some of us need it, right? Oh, the shared shop is unfortunate. No GBs there. I think the Diddy Metal is just out of reach, so he's probably not going to like try and stretch for that. He's just going to go for this Gasplat here, and then maybe a fast Igloo or something? Wow, this caves is awful. <laughs> oh, boy. Take a peek around, get some stray information, and uh, I guess Lanky's Igloo is fast enough. We'll just do this. Getting out of Lanky's Igloo is kind of hard, so this is definitely an indication that this is all he's doing here. If this is 40, he's at 48 right now. So if this is his 49th, then life is good. But if not, you might have to like dump another blueprint, which is a little bit awkward. Oh, he is just, oh. Oh, that routing, that routing. That's, that's beautiful. You love to see it. And we're going to get the monkey port hint. Alrighty. So he's going to, he's going to see forest tiny and be like, huh? <laughs> huh? There's a lot of, there's a lot of pretty awful forest tiny checks. Doesn't look that concerned though. Like, I don't know. They, they. I feel like the amount of time it takes to check Forest Tiny stuff is less the amount of time Cam lost. Like he is a full level behind. Yeah, he's now clearing an Aztec out for his coconut, and it's also just... possible Connor just suspects that it is possible on the boss. So we'll see. Maybe. I mean. I, he's not worried either way. He can do every single tiny check in forest, no problem. He can get to the anthill. He can do the spider. He can do the spider boss if he needs to. So he can do all the tiny checks, no, no sweat. Yo, we got pumpkin hill. <laughs> tiny metal's not even that bad. If you're doing spider boss, it's like on the way, so that might be... But let's put it this way. I think the boss is the last thing he does in Forest. So that will slow him down substantially, but compared to being 
full Aztec clear behind, it's kind of rough. And he's like a dozen GBs ahead, too. Mm. Well, is it a dozen? It's like but remember, 10. Cam didn't turn anything in. So right. it's probably closer than it seems. Yeah, I'm going by his tracker. He's got like 10 blueprints in hand, 32 GBs. Connor's at 50, so yeah, 52 or so. So yeah, about 10 or so behind. It's a pretty substantial margin to make up. And although he is running through a pretty dense Aztec, yeah. Connor is not pumping the brakes at all. Go, go, go. Buy more GBs. Get me out of here. Clear the outskirts as best he can. And uh, hope to find two things here. And if you only find one, make it peanuts. <laughs> Please be peanuts. <laughs> More purchasing power for Connor. But yeah, once he's done here, he heads to the outskirts and the outskirts. The all important outskirts, the almighty outskirts. Very important stuff here. We've got a Diddy K rule path, or we've got outskirts on the path to Diddy K rule and outskirts on the path to Key 8. These could be the same item. It's. Not likely, given how much stuff there is available in this seed. How much stuff is way of the Horde in this seed. That's, I think, relatively unlikely. But it could be. Which would be very rude. Now, consider this. There are two checks locked by Baboon Blast. There could be a world where they have to casino for that. <laughs> that would... That would be awful. <laughs> that, would, that would be atrocious. Holy moly. Although, I guess if they're both in the same place, maybe it's... I don't know. Nothing good there. Wow, nothing in the two-door ship. Dang. I don't think it... Unfortunately for Mechfish agendas, I don't think it's going to be Mechfish, because that would be Peanuts locked. So that just make, right. doesn't make sense. You could have Bongos there, which is... Which would be very funny. But... Unlikely. But, um... Tudos, there are two checks remaining before we get into the danger zone. We've got the sub, and we've got this Kasplat. And I guess the mechfish isn't that dangerous, but like... Hmm. There's hmm. a shared move there. Connor's just not even gonna bother. Best that could be is oranges or sniper, neither of which is particularly compelling. I don't believe Connor checked Donkey's five door temple, so Camerson's getting a getting an edge here. Just a GB though, fast GB though. So that's oh, there's only good. one more outskirts check. It's the submarine. Oh boy. Oh, this is going to get really nasty very quick if it's not here. Oh, please be peanuts. Please be peanuts. If it's peanuts, then we do a little we do a little mechfish. If you're rooting <laughs> for Camerson <laughs> though, you want this to not be anything because this puts Camerson completely back in the game. Drum roll and it is a potion. Well, we'll see what this is. If this is peanuts, great. It could be something right. else. Welcome to bonus stage. Diving mini game, of course. Naturally in the diving sub. Oh, this is one of the least fun balloons in the game. Camerson's doing. I can tell you that. <laughs> there we go. All right. Somehow all the balloons are the least fun balloons in this game. It's truly remarkable how they all just resist your... They, they're dodging your shots like Neo. It's ridiculous. Do we got peanuts? Do we have to do something else? Let's find out. And... What is this move? Oh, it is peanuts. Now Connor just needs to clear uh, Forest Tiny, and that is go mode for him. Well, he needs bongos for, for, donkey, for donkey Helm. Oh, he can peek that. Yeah, I think he's likely to, but... He might get Diddy Galleon, which is a, a pretty loud indication on where that is. <laughs> There's a chance. But he's banking on the fact that the both of those hints are pointing to the same thing. So he's now thinking it's peanuts on the path to, to, K Ro or to Key 8 somehow. Which also makes sense. It could be like a peanut game in Helm. Um, that's entirely possible. I think he's playing to the odds. I think it, it does make more sense to just push to 60. Get your go get your monkey port push to 60 get your bongos hint rather than gamble on the mech fish there are enough worlds where it is a little bit too dangerous to not do that. 
Now, it's possible Camerson just pulls Bongles randomly, which could make things a little interesting, but I th still think Connor's ahead here. Pretty hefty lead, especially because Camerson has not checked the Aztec boss, and that is a very important move, and it's also very slow to do. That is the flip side to what Connor did, right? That's true. Connor's not thinking about, wasn't thinking about checking this boss because he found the other thing. He found Monkey Part in the other boss. Meanwhile, Camerson's not, not likely not checking this boss because they already found, um, they already found Monkey Part on the other one. The only five door temple room that Connor did check was Chunky's because it's just the the best density. So Camerson isn't going to find anything new here. In fact, he's about to he's about to become infinitely powerful with his instruments. Oh my god. So it makes sense Connor's At going with these first, because, like, you get the exterior, uh, or sorry, the interior mushroom, it's easy to check. Then you have these two guys right over here. Um, obviously, the mm -hmm. banana metal for Tiny kind of sucks. Um, one we're of the learn... worst ones, but... Today, we're going to learn how much Connor hates the, the spider boss. If Connor checks the TNS before going to the spider boss, he hates the spider boss. <laughs> But if he checks the spider boss before the TNS, then maybe he just hates the regular bosses. Line up here. Checking the anthill makes a lot of sense too. Both of these checks are flagged as tiny checks, so. Like, like two for one. This might be like the single best spot to check if you get forced tiny. The metal already? Yeah, so it's either here or the spider boss or the actual boss. There's Chimpy Charge. That kind of complicates things for Camerson. He is probably going to go uh, straight to the Beetle Race at this point. And I think that simplifies oh. him. He oh. now knows that Red Vial and Japes is 100% needed. Connor's just going to Death Warp. He's getting the bad news. And he's during a night. Well, the good, the good, the kind of silver line for Connor is he already cleared the way for Spider Boss. Like this isn't mm -hmm. going to take him that much time, really. That's true. He did do kegs earlier, so he did activate the Crusher and punch the box next to the the Crusher activation. So uh, the way is open. The warp. He's got to walk. <laughs> he took the fast way in, also known as the the minecart. <laughs> And I have Connor's music on Restream now. The Majora's Mask sounds song, song beautiful with the DK sound font, let me tell ya. This works. Now it's all the music makers. They're all crazy. Crazy good. If that wasn't clear. This is a sign. note. Connor does not have 60 GBs yet. He's probably just doing some quick checks so he can get to 60. All right, Tudos, hear me out. You've got a tiny and forest hint here. You're missing Twirl and Monkey Port, and you see a purple vial on the boss. Do you check the spider boss before doing the actual boss? <laughs> oh boy. Um, I think I think I just scared? I think I think I just if I, if I see a purple vial, I'm just doing it. Are you that scared I'm for 50-50? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just doing it, dude. You you can't take any risks. Mm-hmm. Plus, the spider does, like, tell you what he's going to give you. So if it's not here, then Connor just knows where to go. 56 GBs. He's holding three blueprints. He's at 59. Oh, he is flying. He's going to head to the top the top of Crime Isle and just be out of here in an instant. And Camerson's following in his footsteps, dumping to get in a galleon, I think. I think he's able to bypass caves, which is good, because that caves was pretty bad, but... And Connor's like, uh oh, I have to do the boss in five, four, three, two, one. And he's gonna have to walk out or pause exit so he can find a trough and scoff. You might want to grab that five pack on the <laughs> on the bridge first. Maybe not. He, Maybe he, he already get, he already he already has he got the doink. He has the uh, metal already. I don't think he's that concerned. He's gonna probably go to the uh, beanstalk one. No. Yeah. Pick and pick your favorite TNS. Spoilers, they're all horrible. 
Well, at least with this one he's going to, he's got the uh, free check but with the Gasplat. So that's probably yeah. why he's selecting this one. I do like this. Maybe the DK metal's close? No. No, he is not close. <laughs> And that just sums up Connor's play, doesn't it? Just consistently making good decisions and efficiently routing. His factory was just a thing of beauty. And there's Pearl number four. Yeah, unfortunate. Cam checked that earlier. I didn't remember what it was, but is that really number four? <laughs> Jeez. So Cam's going to get all his stuff out of Japes. He should be able to skip a cave trip by... Getting to 49 here. Should be. Yeah, getting the getting the good the goods out of Jabe's coconut lock. But I not checking the boss in Aztec means that Gorilla Gun is gonna stay buried chunky in or no, it's tiny in Aztec. Oh, he's totally gonna check the beetle race before he actually checks the boss. That's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> Boy. He's in trouble. All right. Um, Pretty. But there easy is boss. one question. There is just one big question that remains in the scene. The scene is not quite over yet. We don't know where Bongos is at all. So I don't believe we have any indication on where it might be. Our best guess is that it's peanut locked or in the outskirts. That's my best guess. Like, it could be, like, blast locked, or it's just on the mechfish. Forty-nine golden bananas is in Camerson's hands. There is still, now, of course, like we've been saying, Connor's ahead, but as we described, like, there is still a world, there's a rank sprint, there is still a world where Karrison could pull this off. The world exists. However, it requires some, it requires some generosity from the seed. <laughs> Things like charge requirement or the sprint requirement, you know, spring requirement, stuff that Karrison has, but Connor doesn't. It would. It's all unhinted at this point. He needs something unhinted to to be required for whatever reason. Connor is going to dump to fifty nine and then hope that he gets his sixtieth gold banana on one of the three checks leading up to or in Hideout Helm Lobby. Classic. The gamble at fifty nine going up. Then Helm for Bongos. Big fan of going to Helm for this Bongos hint. It's just the sure thing. It'll just tell you where Bongos is and life is good. You don't have to worry too much about it. It is a bit of a time investment because you're going to have to do the Lanky Room twice, right? First time to get the hint and then the second time on your actual Helm clear. So Helm hints do come at a cost, but for how powerful they are, it's really good. <laughs> All right, we are going to be finding out soon. Now, here is the penalty for using the hints in Helm. If you use the hints in Helm, of course, like you can step on any pad and see the hint. You, if um the if the Kong is needed to shut down the Blastomatic, um, you do need to shut down the other Kong's um rooms before the one you want to see first. Um, so for instance, this was Lanky, DK, Diddy, Helm Order. You can see Lanky's um, trombone hit right off the bat, but you have to beat Lanky's room in order to see DK's. Um, for the other ones that aren't used to shut off Helm, you can just see those right away. Um, this means though, since your game doesn't save when you go here, you have to come back and do any room you did over again if you leave with a hint. 
So that is the penalty. Connor's hoping for some short bonus games here. Really, I'm not sure the length of these games matter. I am hard pressed to see a world where Camerson finds bongos at this point. He's kind of beelining his outskirts. I mean, maybe he does the mechfish and gets bongos. That would speed him up substantially, but he's still still a boss behind, which is pretty brutal. I think there are there's a small number of checks where if the bongs are located there, that gives Cam a massive, massive advantage. But more than likely, this is Connor's seed to lose. Um, and the reason for this is that Camerson does have Chimpy Charge and does have a Rang Sprint, and there are a handful of checks that Connor would need to find those items in order to do. And it would be very unlikely Connor would be finding them in short order. Like beetle races, basically. That's the that's the winner. If it, yep. it's not like a beetle race, then <laughs> beetle race, and there's also. Factory R&D with Diddy, there's also Aztec Lobby, so there's a few more, but really not much. Rabbit Race, yep. All right, drum truth. roll, please. Hold the line. Where are we going? Caves with Chunky. Okay, well, that's GG. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any problems here. No, got all our stuff for chunking in caves. Yeah. Not that you had any reason to go to caves besides this, I guess. You know it's not his cabin. Uh, we've seen the hunky igloo, so it's not there. So it's either the rabbit, uh, the gorilla gone, the gorilla gone, uh, check of the entrance. Connor might have gotten, I think Connor did get that. Yeah, so I think I think the main characters or the um or the uh, metals. Metal? Maybe the metal, yeah. Or the boss. <laughs> Wait, it can't be the metal because no no no. That was Castle into Dead, so it could be the metal. Could be the boss. Could be the metal. It could be a, a Dogodon 2 angle. <laughs> oh my god. If it ends up being the boss and it's Dogodon 2, I don't know if I've ever seen Dogodon do No, I know there's been seeds, but I've never personally seen a seed where Dogodon 2 has been in randomizer. So that'll be a fun one. Yeah. Connor's just gonna go straight to Five Door Igloo, which houses our main character, the rabbit. Affectionately called the main character because that son of a gun is so smarmy and he just always has stuff. I don't know how he does it. He's just always he got stuff. He only has two checks, but is somehow in like every other seat. It makes no sense. He shows up so often. Enough. He shows up often enough to control the narrative. He's dangerous. Don't let him out of your sights for a second. Somehow they managed to strap him to this TMT barrel. Complete fluke. Cameron's been finding sniper scope in a shop. Very interesting. I think Connor saw that shop and abandoned it. Yeah, that, I remember yeah. that now. He's like, there's no shared moves that are actually interesting. And if this is simply bongos, then... <laughs> that remains true. This is our bongos. Show me the money. Nope, he's gotta collect bananas. Hmm. He's really not super far away either. Okay, but what if it's the boss? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think the stream would like that. No, Connor, you have to go back for that DK5 pack. You need it for the boss. Where are you going? What is that, 137? That's not even that expensive. Mm, the last five, maybe in like the boulder? I think it just takes the warp to... Wait, no, he doesn't have the warp tagged. Oh, yeah, the last five in the cabins area. Yep, there you go. He'll, yeah, he'll go there or the boulder. Probably the uh, cabins because there is trough scoffs over here. Yep. Now he's looking at his TNS count like, okay, wait, I only have 60 bananas. What if it's on the boss again? <laughs> Perhaps. We do a little tomfoolery. We get a triple boss seed. Two of them are effectively unhinted. It is on the boss! Oh the my triple god, boss there's... Seed. There's no way. Are you serious? 
Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me, man. That is that is brutal. Yeah, he's looking at the number like, oh shoot. <laughs> Meanwhile, Karrison's checking out Hype Chest. What have we got in here? We got bongos, but did we get a blast in here or something silly? Or work his way to 60. Get his grill gun in, he's off to the races. Karrison's probably just gonna fly around, grab a bunch of bananas here. Yep. Oh, lanky pedestal, right. He killed this Kasplat too and didn't pick up these bananas. So, you know, I everyone mean, judge what, him for that. What was the chances of that being something, to be fair? Hmm. Like zero. <laughs> no, we're not framing this seed. There there was a five boss seed before, chat. Oh. I can't yep. remember who did that one, but that was that was a spectacle. <laughs> I've heard tales. I've heard tales of the five boss seed. And that is horrifying. Oh, I don't know if it had bean, though. That's true. This has three bosses and bean. Pretty, pretty impressive. Some heavy lifting being done by the seed on meme checks. And if it's dogged on two, then that's like even rarer. <laughs> You're not gonna lot of dog it on two seeds. I'm very excited for this to be dog at two. Connor is running out of ammo here. I think you got that ammo belt. Doink! Oh, look at look at the routing! Look at the routing! Into a He's TNS you never use either. You know what? I'm thinking that was a coincidence. Um, uh, no, that's that's just a coincidence. There's no way he's that good. There's no way. All right, chat. Place your bets. Place your bets. What boss is this? It's not Magic. We don't even have Twirl, so Magic is probably in level 7. Uh, we've seen the Aztec boss. We've seen the Forest boss. Uh, we've seen the Factory boss. It wasn't Chunky. And we got Hunky Chunky in Japes. So it's either... This is a 50-50 to be dogging on too, I think. Here or caves. It could be in Galleon, depending on where Twirl is, but I think for practical purposes, this is like a 50 50, I think. Oops. Camerson does not have key 8. I accidentally marked it earlier. Rip. Here is our, our yellow vial. My goodness. Oh, uh, the good news for Connor is that he is thinking to himself, no one in their right mind would have checked this. Unless for some reason, they went absolutely out of the way, and I think we got dogged on too. Wow. Wow! That's unbelievable. What a seed chat. <laughs> so the boss pl the reason why Dogon on 2 is so crazy is that the boss placement enforces a couple of restrictions on where bosses can be placed. But Dogon on 2 has to be placed in a level after the point at which you have both chunky and hunky chunky and barrels. So that usually puts it pretty late. And so you usually find Dogon on 2 in later bosses and later bosses are like much less likely to have stuff than your average boss. So, unbelievably, barrels just randomly got placed here. And then it just happened to assign dog on to here. That's like crazy. And a shortened Dogon on 2 fight. On four. The, the tragedy of shortening the Dogon on 2 fight, as necessary as it is, is we don't get to hear the custom music speed up like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just as a heads up, and this is my, something may, everyone may not know about the Dogon on 2 fight. 
it is actually faster to just punch him like this, what Connor is doing. Primate punching him is actually slower. Contrary to popular belief, plus what this cutscene is saying, plus what several guidebooks told you to do. I have three oh, DK64 yeah. guidebooks. All of them either didn't tell you how to fight this boss or told you how to do primate punch. My guidebook told me to primate punch. I primate punch religiously as a, as a kid. <laughs> It is, it is indeed far more epic to, you know, wind back and give him the one-two. Well, if you're, here's the thing, though. If your primate punches are good, you can kill that boss in the nick of time. Mm. And it looks really cool doing it. It's the in swag the factor. I don't, I don't remember being that tight. I believe you get one extra phase if you're doing it well. Okay. And that's that like that's not enough for like the platform to fall in the lava or anything. No. So, yeah. Uh, we got a beetle race sighting, but that is not going to contain anything useful. Hey, I, I like this check from Cam. I think that makes a lot of sense. You lean to your advantages. You just kind of like gamble all in that like it's got to be here. Like if it is on the beetle race, that's a huge advantage because that chippy charge was very unhinted. So, you know, point your outs there. It makes a lot of sense to check that. But checking tiny stuff in, uh, well, actually, fortunately for him, a lot of stuff is foolish. Tiny temple's foolish. Llama temple's foolish. That, and he checked tiny temple, I think. And I think he checked that five door temple already. So yeah, he he actually narrowed it down to the boss really quickly. He gets this, and then, oh, he's gonna go get his bongos hint too. Fight another boss. <laughs> this seat is awful. <laughs> I don't know. I think chat likes the seat. <laughs> so mean they they got to see bean they got to see so many boss fights they never get to see very often there's no and yet like connor's still gonna finish this sub 150. Yeah. he's so good. he's so fast he's on a collision course in grand finals with riley once again exciting times all right chat I have dug out the three DK64 strategy guides I have, and I'm gonna look up the Dogadon 2 find and see what it tells you to do. I'm calling <laughs> out all of these guide makers on stream right now. I went scratching my parents' house trying to find trying to find my copy and I couldn't find it. I was so sad. <laughs> I don't know where that guidebook went. Literally falling oh, people just give me thing. these now, so. <laughs> <laughs> the sacred texts indeed right. <laughs> here you go this is from the official dk64 guide from nintendo power okay um turn into hunky chunky then enforce the law of the jungle with your primate punches hmm hmm all right so there we're zero for one here so number two prima's official strategy guide for dk64 was this got that's the one I had. Well, let's see if it was a good one. Got no, I don't shot. think it was. <laughs> Not here, at least. Man. Nobody was crumbling Kosh like Connor. Good grief, that was quick. That is experience at work there. Good. Might have been the easy one, though, so... All right. I'll down uh, these achievements. Here is Prima's official strategy guide. A chunky barrel appears. Jump in and primate punch the Dogadon. <laughs> so zero for two. Oh, boy. <laughs> and then we have... And again, this is my personal favorite. This is the Versus book series. I love the Versus books. I thought they were the best. But we'll see if this one is worthy. This is a, such a tragic seed for Cam. He's getting a hint to go check a boss, and little does he know he's about to go back to Helm to get a hint to go check another boss. That is just... Yeah, that's a little bit rough, isn't it? That is awful. Imagine if you didn't have Monkey Port as well, and you like go get a hint, check a boss, go get another hint, check a boss. By the time you get the third one, it's like, okay, maybe I'm going to do the boss first. <laughs> 
All right, versus book says about Dogadon 2. Ep um, where is it? After a few hits of the TNT barrel, turn into Hunky Chunky and primate punch as fast as possible. Zero for three. You have been all been tricked as children, chat. How could they? There are probably some other ones for... floating around out there, but I need to acquire them and we'll see if they go all for one as well. Am just remembered there is the yellow vial in upper production and he's going for that first. This makes yeah. a lot of sense. This, this, is this makes correct. a lot of sense. This is what this is what he has to do because especially if your camera's in like you feel like you're behind because you missed out on that uh, shot move earlier. So this makes sense. Um, we got someone. In, huh? We got someone in chat here saying their Brady game strategy guy says not to use primate punch. So Brady games might be the winner here. I think I might need to acquire that guide. Wow, unbelievable. Going through, going through so, old game facts, guys. Oh boy! If you if you were a Brady Games child, then you would have beat this game easy. I cannot overstate. Carison got it, but I cannot overstate how easy Connor made that slope climb with Tiny Look earlier. That was just a thing of beauty. Took a camera a couple times to do it. There is not a lot of leeway, and while well, well, doing like slope kicks with, or doing like a kick slide, kick slides up slopes with tiny isn't like super complicated. Doing it on like such a narrow, specific surface, and then changing your angle on the way up is gnarly. The pipes all have like slightly different slope heights, and it just makes it really easy to to slip on something and fall down. So our K rule, Lanky Diddy Chunky. This should be a relatively quick one. Connor should make quick work of this, I think. Now, if you ever heard of the Chunky backflipping choking the world record meme, that was on Connor. He was the unfortunate end user of the creation of that meme. Does he give it? Does he give it to us one time? Does he choke the race with? I don't even know how many backflips it would take. There, there's several minutes between these guys right now, so this would be a, would be a, it'd be a one heck of a backflip to, to, to choke this one. All right, we'll see if we get a backflip on this one. Oh, we got it! A man of the people, truly. A seed of the people. Bean, bosses, including a rare one. My goodness. And it wasn't like a disaster casino. That's good. I think, uh, I think all parties involved will be happy, except for maybe the runners. I don't think they'll be thrilled with having you do three bosses in a seed. <laughs> All right, but how does Connor make quick work of lanky phase? I'm taking notes. Got my notepad out. Notepad out. So barrel thrown there. Bang. Connor Trombone is using speedrun strat where you face the camera away from the ring, so it is very unintuitive to do it this way. But it is the way a lot of the speedrunners learn how to do this fight. So, um, this is how you'll see a lot of the speedrunners doing this fight. I think it's just lag reduction, right? It, well, it's lag reduction on N64, but like it doesn't matter on Virtual Console or Emulator. I'll tell that to the BC people when <laughs> they have Castle lagging like crazy anyway. One, two, three. Quick work of him. Okay, I said I was going to take notes. I was actually most interested in like what pillars he goes to first, but I've already forgotten, so... Unfortunate, I'll have to yellow it again. And Diddy Phase. 
It always feels like a nice K rule fight when you don't have to fight tight tiny face. I don't know about anyone else. All you like, gotta do is avoid tiny. All you gotta do is avoid tiny, and K rule is is great. No problems. Diddy face is a little jank, but you know, fine. We love our jank in this game. I feel like even though we shortened tiny face, it just feels so bad. I want to see if Camerson just like gambles on the boss right now. Well, he's not picking up CBs, so uh, maybe not. <laughs> Oh, he is not gambling on the boss at all. <laughs> I mean, you got two bosses in a scene already. What are the odds it's a third? Surely not. Surely not. Connor is going to finish with an official time of 146.12. GG. Time. What a time in that seed. Good grief. All right, he let's has, get them pulled he has, in here momentarily. He snuck in here. He just blitzed in here as fast as he could. He's excited. He's ready to go to, to grand finals and take on Riley. It's GG so Connor. boring sitting there for 20 minutes waiting for it to catch up. GG. <laughs> <laughs> Suffering from success. <laughs> GG. You're joined by Camerson as well. GG. Yes. Doozy of a seed, but got there in the yeah. end. Yeah. Not getting pineapple was definitely my downfall. <laughs> yeah, that definitely puts you on a an awkward path in the seed. Especially, what really didn't help is that you just kept getting moves that strung you along to make you not <laughs> want to go back to factory. It was just like, okay, well now I got to go to Japes to find stuff. Okay, well now Aztec is telling me good things. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I was just like running around trying to get enough uh, GBs, and, like trying to figure out because I needed hints for stuff like Relagon and Bongos. Like those were nowhere to be found. The, the bosses. <laughs> bosses had everything to seed. Oh my goodness. Three bosses. <laughs> oh three bosses God. and a bean. Just a... Three bosses on path to Kie. <laughs> yeah, for, for a while, I was trying to figure out, like, why are barrels path to Kie? Because it wasn't clear for the longest time. Like, you know, I got that hint that factory <laughs> metals are path to Kie, which was sacks. I'm like, okay, that got barrels. But why are barrels? And then finally, you get the trough and scoff hint and i just happened to do aztec as my first boss since that's where i was got gorilla gone i was like okay all solved like that's what barrels were needed for that one boss and then <laughs> yeah yeah I got <laughs> and then the rest first. of the seed happened yeah that was the funny thing because cam checked the forest boss first and got monkey port out of it and i was like okay great that's that's solved and then Connor <laughs> at the same time was checking the aztec boss and got gorilla gone oh, and i was like oh gosh. that's solved and i was like oh Oh, well, this is <laughs> and we both had to get probably go to Helm to get the bongos hint. Absolutely, you had no reason to go to caves otherwise. Oh my gosh, this is precisely why I wanted the in 2.1 where it's like three things on the path <laughs> in Trough and Scoff on the path to Key 8. I know that's not hap like I know that's not a thing right now, but like. One thing that helps you at all here. makes me wish I wa wish it was. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't help you at all here because Bongos, Gorilla Gun, and Monkey Port are all used exactly for Helm and nothing else. So we would just be on the path to key. <laughs> You're like, oh, well, great. Uh, cool. Yeah, and thank you for the, the Helm hint because I would have been sitting here for probably three and a half hours if Bongos were not in <laughs> Helm. I was never, ever going to Cave's yeah. Box. Yeah, it definitely took me a while. Oh my gosh! Like I, I checked um, the chunky egg glue and the uh, and the transparent egg glue first to see if those were because I knew cabins was foolish, but nope. And then I, I thought about those. gambling on mechfish because outskirts were hinted path to key eight. All you got was peanuts. <laughs> but I've learned my lesson before that always assume there's a gun mini game in Helm, and just go for the sure hint. Yeah, when I saw um when I saw Gorilla Gun was hinted for like when I saw the Helm hint and saw Aztec for Tiny, I was like, ooh, Beetle Race, because I got Chimpy Charge, which uh I don't think well cut never mind because you still would have tried to go for the metal if you were going for that. <laughs> and oh, that's true. It was on charge. It wasn't was Tiny's metal. Charge. Tiny's metal. Yeah. Aztec. Oh. yeah. So if you got a Aztec Tiny hint you would get the medal on your way to checking the tiny stuff to eventually end up at the boss or maybe the beetle race. 
Yeah, I checked the Beetle Race, which I was, I was actually really surprised it had nothing. I was like, oh my god. I, I thought for a little bit after that, I was like, what else could it be, boss? <laughs> yeah, that's your answer to the scene. Where else could it be? Oh, it's just another one. Great. Yeah, so when I got to when I got the cave's chunky hint, I was and I full cleared everything. I was like, uh. I should have known better. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> right, fool, fool me once, okay, fool uh. me twice. All right, you fooled me a third time. I oh my gosh! <laughs> Oops, all bosses. Nope. Yeah, I think what happened with uh, me forgetting pineapple was I think I did write down um, factory funky chunky, but when I got uh, factory cranky chunky, I wasn't paying attention when I erased the. Um, the shop hint. So I think that's what happened and why I forgot to get pineapple. Of course, it just happened to be an important item. <laughs> yeah, that factory was just loaded up on all sorts of good stuff. And yeah. most of it was accessible on your first trip. I don't think there was any reason to return to factory. Yeah, I was pretty thorough with factory that first trip. Like I kept finding things that made me go like, oh, now I'm trying to do this, this, this. And yeah. it took forever to leave. And then I ended up like orphaning so many easy things in castle and forest that I was thought that could come back to bite me because I never went into the <laughs> crypt area of castle. Like I never even checked Funky's shop. And then I never went to the mushroom area and forest, never <laughs> checked Frankie there. So I just did yeah. all the factory instead, which paid off. <laughs> I um <laughs> lucky you. Um I was trying to be thorough while um, collecting GBs, um, just in case, like, because I found a rank stand sprint too. I was like, that. There's no way that's what ever being used, and it wasn't. <laughs> found that on Jape Stonky Metal. But yeah, that was that was rough. <laughs> I um I, I did also get, I also gambled going back to factory because I was trying to get the um the yellow vial in in the production room. Uh, failed. Um. I gave up on it, and I was like, well, I, this might be bongos uh, mm -hmm. when I was going to Helm. So I finally went and got it just in case so I didn't have to get my Helm hit. Nope, it was Strong Kong. Makes Ooh. perfect sense. I probably should have had a feeling that it wasn't uh, bongos just because Connor hadn't finished yet. Because <laughs> he probably also got that and probably succeeded at doing it unlike me. Uh, one thing I was really hoping for is I was really hoping that Galleon Outskirts hint to Key 8 and, like, or in, and Diddy K. Rool were pointed at two different things. So you pull peanuts out of the sub and you go to the mech fish. I was really it hoping. was for the peanut minigame in Helm. Yeah, it was just simply that, but <laughs> but what if? What if? <laughs> what if? There was a world. Yeah, I was, uh, I was debating on it in my head, but I was like, it's probably better just to hope that this is for Helm. And yeah, it was. Yeah, we're... <laughs> a lot of you. Helm, uh, the guns needed needed for Helm is kind of a party pooper. <laughs> yeah, that one's that one's rough. <laughs> Unlucky. That is yeah. always a, a little bit unfortunate to have happen. It certainly didn't help that all your key eight hints, and you got six key eight hints because all your other keys were basically free. Your six key yeah. eight hints, like half of them, are just looking at barrels. And the barrels for, you know, one of three bosses. Enjoy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Which is outrageous, but... I'm honestly lucky that, like, in doing the bad hit detection wheel, the cutscene showed me Funky Shot, because I would have probably forgotten it for even longer if I, if that hadn't happened. <laughs> I, we, I, kinda, I kinda thought that too. I was like, alright, wait a minute. Maybe the cutscene saves <laughs> maybe, maybe the cutscene sends back to the shop, like, please! <laughs> <laughs> that, that's exactly what happened. And I took a long way to get there too. I probably should have just mini monkey back, but oh well. Uh, whatever works. I, my, bra my brain was fried at that point. I was like, how did I forget this? It's I was really easy. Thorough. I'll tell you what, it's really easy in the commentary chair. You just kind of look back, you look at all your <laughs> notes, and you can stare at your notes the whole time, and you get a you get a plot yeah, exactly. out of the course of your seed. Well, oh, yeah, because like, mm -hmm. like you have to debate. Like, do you want to erase the? Uh, the hints just in case you're accidentally erasing something important but like that the, your hints page if you don't like get rid of things kind of gets cluttered up and you kind of have to like sift through all the stuff and it like, takes a while so yeah i just uh, accidentally erased my funky chunky when i thought it was cranky chunky oops Ooh. Well, there was also something there <laughs> yeah hang on i'm actually gonna undo in my notes just to see like if that was actually the case or that if was... I just forgot to write it down completely, because that could have happened too. I think it was triangle there, and 
don't know if you needed that. Let me see. Undoing, undoing. Uh, no, I never wrote down uh, Factory Funky Chunky. I, I erased Factory Cranky Chunky. Oh my gosh. I just never wrote it down, and that's why I forgot. Yeah, I, I almost didn't write it down either. Like, I was so excited to buy Chunky there <laughs> that, like, I was really close to not writing it down. And then I sort of, like, stopped as I was leaving. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the weird thing, is you got Chunky there, and then there was also a Chunky move in the shop. So, I don't know, maybe it's just easy to miss that. Yeah, Chunky? and I, I, I've actually forgotten to get a potion on the Funkies in Factory before, too. So, like, I get it. <laughs> You're like, oh, I can't buy that move because I don't have Chunky. Oh, hey, I'm just buying Chunky right now, and then don't think twice. Oops. Well, hang on. Wait. Uh, oh, it was because um, you buy Chunky there, but you don't have enough, you don't have any coins. Oh, yeah. There were no rainbow coins yet. Rainbow yeah, coins are kind of stingy. You got factory. Still, but... though, I'm surprised I didn't write it down. Hmm. Like, usually I write stuff down that I come back to later, but I guess, like, my mind was already occupied with the fact that I need to gather Chunky coins, um, and that mind bubble kind of overrode me uh, writing down that there was a funky move there. <laughs> and that's what ended up happening. I mean, forgetting things happens all yeah. the time. It happens yeah. all the time in this randomizer. And of course, if it's if you forget one thing, it's just over for you. Yeah, it's just kind like, of unfortunate was... that it happened during a loser's final match, but... There was a point where, where Connor that left behind a dirt patch because he didn't have any crystal coconuts, and I was like, okay, but what if that's <laughs> one thing? <laughs> I I knew yeah. I had I was going straight to Cranky to buy the chunky move. That was like a part of the route. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a part of the the the, the perfect route through Factory. So I, I had the backup plan because I knew I was going to go warp five to Funky to buy the other chunky move. So like that was all under control. I was <laughs> never going to forget route, that. The route was really good through factory that really carried you through the rest of the scene yeah, I feel like out factory and didn't have to worry too much about anything else back there even if i didn't uh forget about pineapple i, f I still feel like connor would have won he's like a speedster when it comes to this game i not on his level <laughs> that was gonna be a tough one i i don't know about you all are, but i feel like connor really didn't make that many mistakes from what i've seen yeah no, no, no mistakes of his own accord but i think there were just like some like slow problem slow points like going to caves to fill out gbs was trash <laughs> there was, there was well, nothing in there not even i, in the I don't think that was a bad like play no. though right it was like well, a fine yeah. play it's just like a random <laughs> moment well, of, oh, well, well the thing was like you saw three gbs and funkies out there it's like oh this is a great play and then there was like no gbs the rest of the way oh gosh yeah i didn't yeah, even but, check but i, I, I made progress on yeah. caves bananas <laughs> so it all works out the watch <laughs> somehow not not many though a couple <laughs> <laughs> even when he's he's wrong he's right it's ridiculous that was but, uh th that was me trying to get gbs in um in the five door temple i i was struggling with that because like i think chunky had like a, a melon in the dirt patch and then instrument upgrade on the splat oh my goodness the only other thing that i feel like did really help me is getting strong kong that first climb up production room so like i didn't have the mystery of what is that yellow potion up there the whole seed and i like you know knew that i never had to go back there and like try and get bongos off of that instead i was fully committing to the helmet oh, so i didn't get that a useful trick to know that's for sure yeah he did get that on his first oh, he did. oh yeah mm -hmm. oh okay i see because yeah i i uh i tried that um I'm, i feel like uh the commentator were probably going crazy because like i saved i almost saved it like twice with the, like a backflip in midair or something oh, like yeah. that you just you just, just <laughs> do some crazy parkour like oh please please get in there ah, I, was, I was trying i was trying but yeah it's, it's tough uh i i'm usually i got better at it though so i'm surprised i kept failing at it backflips but are a good way to save it i find it's easier with like twirl to save it if something well, goes wrong, twirl, so. yeah. <laughs> no on twirl. No idea where that is. That could be anywhere. Prawn galley or something. <laughs> Maybe Connor's looking for it on stream right now. <laughs> on the mech fish. Whoa. Whoa. No, I what if? stopped running around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, GG, Connor. Yeah, GG, Camerson. That was. I, I, that was an I tried to make really. it not a Connor versus Riley finish again <laughs> in the tournament. It's the third time in a row. Right. Run from it. Connor <laughs> Riley and Grand Finals arrives all the same.
Yeah, exactly. We will have that <laughs> coming up soon enough. Uh, I, I tried. I, 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 I cannot stop the power of Connor versus Riley. It is inevitable. Oh, it'll ha maybe it'll happen next season, but not this season <laughs> as our grand finals. Riley versus Connor 75. This is a rematch from the Blitz tournament from earlier this year, so it should be a good one. From two days ago, even. Crazy. <laughs> a rematch from, I don't know, Lord knows how many qualifiers or weeklies they've been in together. Oh my goodness. So for those well, who don't I know, know that how... If for those who don't know how double elimination works, um, Connor is coming from losers and already has a loss. Riley has no losses. Connor has to beat Riley twice in order to get the win here, because you are afforded two losses before you're knocked out. Yeah, Just we'll see if um... I have losses on the seed, and apparently that's the seeds I'm good at. Yeah, we'll see if um, Connor's able to win this time, because Riley's won the past two Blitz tournaments, so. See if Connor pulls through this time, or if it'll be another Riley victory. We shall she'll see. Find out, she'll find out in due time. Yes. Good luck, Connor. <laughs> Thanks. All right, we'll and that, that will... Uh, obviously, that's not going to happen tonight, that next coming yeah. match. But um, <laughs> Riley... Or not Riley. Yeah, Riley and Connor are going to talk through when they're available to schedule and when Restream is available, and um, we will have it at that day. So... Being said, I think we are all done here. Um, thanks yep. for watching, everyone. And again, be sure to subscribe and follow our YouTube channel, our Twitch page, etc. Um, yeah. All right. Now that uh, now that I'm out of the tournaments, I am dunking 2.0 in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> I 2.1 from now on. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I'm sure that uh, 2.0 will be straight in the trash as soon as the entire tournament is over. I'm assuming. <laughs> well, we 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 need it. We're cooking stuff up for that. But regardless, um, <laughs> I have someone we're gonna raid. We're actually gonna be going to a speedrun stream. Yes, yeah, speedrunning actually exists. What? Um, we have oh, Mr. T Kettle. Oh my god. Mr. T Kettle is doing a glitchless speedrun. Um, so if you've never seen that, similar, it's the same rule set of randomizer, but of course you're just playing the vanilla game and have to be the vanilla game. So, um, go watch and cheer him on and, um, it's just, just kind of compare features on how vanilla DKC64 looks compared mm -hmm. to randomizer. It's great. So imagine being a speedrunner. Couldn't be me. All right. Raid Thanks started. Watching, Make sure, sure. You, uh, check, make sure you hang out in the uh, Discord, discord.dk64randomizer.com to get notifications on when the next restream is. Be there. Woo!